debate on vote two, provincial parliament, Western Cape Adjustments Appropriation Bill. I see the honorable speaker. Chairperson, honorable premier and members, thank you for the opportunity to present the Western Cape Provincial Parliament's adjustment estimate for 2016-2017. The adjustment budget that is presented amounts to 129,321 million rand. This is 1.5 million less than the main budget. When determining the adjustment budget, we took into account our actual expenditure for the period 1st of April 2016 until the 30th of September 2016 and the projected expenditure from the 1st of October 2016 until the end of the financial year. We looked at our planned targets and the likelihood of the attainment thereof. We came to the conclusion that we will attain most of the targets. The implementation of the ERP system will, however, only be achieved later than planned, and this was as an is a result of an extended procurement process. We have now selected an ERP system and a service provider to assist with the implementation thereof. Chairperson, we also looked at efficiency measures and the savings of 756,000 will be realized in this regard. This savings is mainly from subscriptions, catering and travel. We have also projected an underspending in compensation of employment, mainly due to vacancies that were filled later than expected. There were also savings due to fewer than anticipated contributing members' fees for PARMED and an over-provision for provincial gazettes. On the other hand, we had to make provision to cover unfunded additional cost of legislative sector activities, which is often informed from the NA and the National Council of Provinces. These activities included a Youth Day celebrations, Women's Parliament, as well as the high-level panel public hearings on the impact of key legislation, which takes place on the 5th and the 6th of December. We expect that the cost to the provincial parliament will amount to 512,000 rand. In summary, 1.887 million was taken from program one and 387,000 was added to program three. The net effect is, as mentioned earlier, is 1.5 million that will be added to the 2016 2017 budget of the vote for ERP related expenditure. As I alluded to in previous um, debates and also to the POC, that many other legislatures have secured state of the art ERP systems which could start at anything like 40 million and we have really tried to maintain and cover our costs by securing not a Rolls Royce but something that could do a system that could do the job equally well. In conclusion, I wish to thank the Parliamentary Oversight Committee under the Chairmanship of Honourable Wiley for the SPOI support and robust oversight over the vote. I also wish to thank Member Ace in his absence for his constant unpacking and please explain. It keeps us on our toes and I think it has added value to the, over, to the oversight process. Lastly, I would like to thank the Deputy Speaker, but most importantly, I would like to thank the Secretary and each and every single individual at WCPP who has worked unwillingly willingly and with great commitment despite the constraints that we face and managed to make Western Province, uh, Western Cape Provincial Parliament the parliament that it is. We are certainly becoming a beacon within South Africa and if we continue this way, we might become, not might, we will become the best regional parliament and in fact, we are looking at the best parliament in Africa. So I would like to say thank you to the team of people who have made it happen. I thank you, Chair.